SUVs are about adventure. It's a machine for freedom. And this feeling we want to put through our design into the mind of our customers. Our design is very nicely executed, it's very puristic, it's very clean. And what we're aiming for is a timeless approach. It's a little bit more design, it's a little bit more image. This one really shows up. It's got great presence, it's got great visual appeal, great design aesthetic, uh, and I think it's a good distinctive fit. Probably a lot of the successful five-seater SUVs, as I mentioned, you know, are people who are looking for design. So the, the customer there is more design orientated and design focused. So I think the direction we've taken to make the crossboard a little bit more sporty, a uh, little bit more sleek, um, really focusing on the very sporty looking R-Line package is definitely the right direction. The crossboard is more about aerodynamic, elegant proposition, but it is essential that this is a more emotional proposition. You have a very nice sloping roof, it has a very dynamic stance, but the interior space is not compromised. For me, the most beautiful angle of the car is the rear three-quarter, um, because really that's where you get that coupe-style pillar. That's really where the car looks completely different to, to the Atlas, um, and I think it's just really, really pretty without compromising a whole bunch of space. So still interior comfort remains, um, yet you've got this beautiful and attractive fastback looking coupe. I also think the other thing that also is really nice is our selection of wheels. So we've revamped our entire wheel office structure going all the way up to 21 inch wheels. So I think when you combine the R-Line package, this coupe styled vehicle with beautiful 21 inch wheels, it really do, it will turn heads on the road. When we do an interior design, we want to aim for something that is very well executed and you have this level of sophistication that you expect from premium cars, but on an entry price. I think the first cool feature is we get the new, what we call MQB steering wheel. So I think that is pretty cool. So the conventional steering wheel that we've seen in the car today gets refined and totally replaced. Um, so that's pretty cool. More added functionality on some of the buttons. Um, we also have um, new ex exciting interior leather and cloth interior options, um, different from, from what, what is offered in the Atlas today. And we've also just worked on a little bit more stitching here and there. So you'll see a little bit more stitching, a little bit more double stitching. So I really think just a cabin that feels a little bit you know, more upmarket and a little bit more premium on the inside. It is uh, about the level of attention you put into detailing. We really dig deep into the execution of every little piece and every little detail. So it's a love for detailing that we put as designers and engineers in our cars that makes them so different. It allows you to really show up in style, show up with grace and elegance and, uh, and prestige, yet without showing off. You didn't overpay for it, you got a great value. So I think it really addresses the sweet spot of what America is looking for. This is what we are heading for, to create things that you admire and when you see them you think wow well, that's cool that's something that stands out and shines that's our aim Look, for me, the uh, five-seater or the Atlas Cross Sport is, is a no-brainer. I think there's a couple of things. First, uh, obviously, we want to follow the market, and this is a market that's growing fast. It's a big opportunity, over 2.3, 2.4 uh, million units, and uh, we want to be where the action is, and this is a chance to do that. The BSUV segment uh, is growing. The BSUV segment is big, and we've had great success with the seven-seat Atlas. So now we feel there's an opportunity to divide that segment. If you look at about 40% of that segment is comprised of you know, a five seat vehicle and that's where the Atlas Cross Sport comes in. Yeah, I think in, in essence uh, the SUV market as a total has grown significantly in the United States. We for quite some time have had a strategy to double up in two of the biggest segments, the A SUV strategy and then what we would call the mid-size SUV strategy where we have the Atlas today. That segment is really split between five seaters and seven seaters and for that reason we've designed the, the cross sport um, to participate. The folks that are driving around with the seven seat, they love their functionality, but we've also heard from some of our customers that we don't necessarily need the, the third seat row. Knowing that we have the Atlas and the platform there already, we were able then to very quickly come up with the Atlas Crossport. The seven seater really is about practicality. Uh, it's about space. It's very much about families. The five seater is a little bit more design. It's a little bit more image. You know, if you think about it, it's a lot more about showing up 
as opposed to showing off. It's marginally shorter than the Atlas. Um, it obviously does not have the third row. So we plan to have this slightly more stylish looking vehicle um, in the market. For that reason, we believe there are probably two key buyers. Firstly, those customers who are starting out a small family. And then we also believe it'll also appeal to another uh, stage in your life, which is basically the empty nester phase. We want to make sure we make a Volkswagen SUV. And there's some core attributes of a Volkswagen you always want to hang on to. I think obviously we want to hang on to the driving characteristics. Just because a vehicle gets bigger doesn't mean you don't want to put a smile on someone's face. I think the second thing is very smart packaging. We've always been fantastic at packaging with Golfs. We want to make sure we keep that packaging idea and aesthetic as we get into SUVs. And the third one is the technology. I think we're doing a fantastic job in terms of the electronics, in terms of the safety systems and everything else that we're bringing into the car. So if we can keep the spirit of Volkswagen and give our point of view on SUVs, that's where the magic is. Our aim right now is, is to, to really make an impression. We know design is very important. And so it was a big focus then as we concepted this car and, and went through the development phase. Uh, I think we've been able to really nail it here with the, with the, the expressive design that we've uh, put forth with Atlas Crossport. We know we have pretty big plans with our SUV portfolio here for the North American region. This is the first step forward in our expansion, and I think there's still more to come. I think just the fact that already uh, a lot of our research has indicated that the customers are very excited about the design. Um, that's been very, very encouraging. I'm very excited about the fact too that most of the customers saw this as a very different car to Atlas. I think often in this kind of strategy, you run the risk of you know, putting a car into the market that just substitutes another. Uh, and we were very excited to see that there, there seems to be a very different customer for this car. So I'm very excited about the design. I'm very excited about the new tech. Um, I'm excited about the, team, the interior getting uh, improving. It's gonna be a vehicle that really will turn heads and people will look at this car, again, particularly in the R-Line guys, and say, wow, that really is sexy. Um, this is something that, you know, says something about who I am um, and I want that car. I'm extremely excited to see it now today with this reveal come across the line after three years of, of work here uh, from the region. We've put together uh, I think a pretty good package. It's going to stand out very quick and win the attention and uh, just like the Atlas has really started to take off I think the Crossport will follow very quickly as well addressing specific needs of those customers in the five seat segment. In my mind with the five seat market it will do quite well. I think these are people who want to be distinguished, they want to stand out uh, and they want a car that helps them stand out. And I think the brilliant thing about Volkswagen is we can help them stand out at a great price point. Anyone can stand out spending seventy, eighty thousand dollars on a vehicle. But a car with this kind of road presence, a car with this kind of character, a car with this type of visual appeal uh, at this price point is something that's powerful. And uh, it's something Volkswagen should be proud of and we are proud of.